This is the Airbnb that we stayed in while we were in Little Rock. This is located in North Little Rock in the Argenta Arts District of North Little Rock. This is where we stayed. I highly recommend it. And this is some art and some just some views of the Argenta District when we walked around and uh, went for breakfast our first day there. So just giving you some sights. Across the street there on the left is the cafe that we ate at, Mugs Cafe. It was delicious, as you can see. And then I thought you might enjoy just seeing a little bit of the downtown while we walk back to our car. Beautiful little town. That's the public library. There's art everywhere you look, it seems. This one had birds on it, so of course I had to take a picture of it. And this is one of the bridges that we crossed over to go back into Little Rock. There was also a mural of a lot of foxes, and every time we passed it, Jenny and I were thinking, oh, we need to take a picture of that, and then, oh, we'll get it on the way back. And then we never went that same way, so I'm sorry we missed that. Jenny took this footage, so she's showing you the bridge. And we heard that there was a Trader Joe's, and her favorite thing is the Trader Joe's popcorn. So we put it in our GPS and went and walked around Trader Joe's. And then we eventually found her popcorn and picked up her souvenir from our trip to North Little Rock. One, two, three, four. Hopefully it'll last us on the way home. All right, here we are at a Goodwill in Little Rock, Arkansas. Here it is, there it is. We're gonna go in and see what they have. So we walked into the first Goodwill and was, had a lot of clothing in it. And then we found the hard goods section. The thing that I noticed about the Goodwills in Little Rock is that the pricing was written on, the, the prices were written on the objects. And the prices were kind of a weird, different with a change. Like, see, that's $3.13. And let's give another example here. And they also didn't, what, they, things weren't really color coded like I'm used to in Pennsylvania. So here's a plate. It had a big giant crack in it or I would have picked this up. I flip it over to see how much it is and see how, okay, $3.93. So not like the 99 or 50 that I'm used to. I thought that was unusual. So we're looking in the books. Jenny likes to see if she can add to her collection. And then we went back to looking at hard goods. Just your typical things that you would find at any Goodwill. They didn't have a lot of vintage things, things that I usually sell in my store. I saw this book and I found that a little disturbing when it wasn't leaned up against a book just half of a dog I thought that was kind of funny and the next to it was these were very very heavy uh, horse book ends but I, they probably have to be heavy to keep your books upright so it makes sense and then down below was a little sign that said Noel and then I thought this was interesting I'm not quite sure what it is. So if you know what it is, let me know. I thought that was broken off at the top, but it wasn't sharp. So I think it was meant to be that way. And here we are just continuing on, looking at all the different things that they have to offer. This was cracked on the top, but this looked old. And then the note inside just said, do not cook with lid on. Here's the clear glass section. And this was nice, but it had a big noticeable chip on the top. And I don't think that had a price. $3.13. So if you are from Arkansas, let us know why, if you know, why is the pricing kind of just random change? Different. Here's a Sandra Boynton mug. And that was written on the handle, $1.21. Here's a nice figurine. It just had Mary and two of the wise men and Jesus and some animals. And here's a whole bunch of Christmas mugs. 
And then Jenny found this cute little plush and she was showing how you can attach it and it would roll up kind of like an armadillo. They had a lot of plush animals filled. And that was our trip to that, this Goodwill. Okay, we didn't find anything, but we're on to the next one. Then this was a uh, one near the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. So this is the outside. Inside, this was a nice little flower frog vase, $1.21. And this was a candle, and it's blaze is hot here, so there's no way I could get that. This was a four-piece set for $35 and 90-some cents. It was neat how it lined up, and then the, the picture continued on. A little bit too bulky for me to ship. I did find something that for $2.92 uh, that I would consider vintage. Some uh, old milk glass, probably a vanity dresser jar. This was very pretty and did not have a lot of chipping, but shipping something like this makes me nervous. $4.94 it looks like. This owl was cute, he had a little chip on his foot. And then there were a whole bunch of these pictures. I'm gonna move the owl out of the way so you can see. It's interesting. Oh, there I just saw a dad mug on the left there. I've sold mom mugs, huh? Missed that one. $9.99. This was a very nice piece, very heavy though. And I don't believe it had any chips. Isn't that nice looking? Here was a Christmas tree napkin holder. It did unfortunately have chips, but that's typical of this stuff, especially if they're older pieces. $2.92. giving you a look at the rest of the store. This is at my uncle's bed and uh, Airbnb, and his had beautiful mid-century modern design. So I'm showing you the fireplace and the tile. Look at that chair and the side table. He thought I was kind of a weirdo for, I was like, can I film your Airbnb? Like, okay, look at that pillow. Look at these chairs. Look at that. There were two of them. I said, if you're missing two of these, I took them. They look like faux ba bamboo and they were um, lucite. And here's another chair and end table. Isn't that cool? And here's another one. And his house was more of a Victorian house, but had this mid-century modern vibe. And here's some art. There was a whole series of pictures and there was a whole bunch of artwork around the house. It was a really nice place. And then this was probably a console table and they used it. I think they had the TV on that. And then here is just some more artwork that I thought you might want to enjoy. And then this is my cousin's wedding. So we needed to go to Hobby Lobby for some ribbon. And look what I found. <laughs> I was like, what? These were all made in China. Very, very super cute. So I wanted, I don't know if we have these at our Hobby Lobby. But aren't those so cute? A whole display of them. So I thought you might want to see them. The koala. And the hedgehog. And there was some crystal stuff. And then back towards the chickens. And then the flamingos and swan. We found a Goodwill in North Little Rock. And we are here now. I'm going to flip the camera to show you. That's it right there. So we're going to go in there and see what we can find. Let's go. Okay, and so first walking in, I thought this was something different and I picked it up and it was a skull. I think it was a hobbyist piece. And at this Goodwill, I actually did ask them, the man who checked us out, why are your prices different? He's like, I don't know. I was like, all right, that's fine, just wondering. I did pick these two up. They're black velvet pictures in frames. Some nice flowers on them. $3.13 a piece. So those are the two things. I don't show them at the end of this video, but I did get those. Then they had a little figurine section. 
I should have picked up those Victorian houses. I kind of glanced over at those. But looking back, those were super cute. And I kind of thought about this, and then I decided, oh, I should probably show this into the camera so you can see it. There you go. It's cute with a little ladybug on it. $1.21, I think. Just looking at some other figurines. Here was Mary. She was kneeling, but from the front, it looks like she got cut off at the knees. But in the back, you can see she's kneeling. So that kind of look, I, it kind of was a little bit strange to me. So I left that there. Just looking at the other figurines. What else can we find here? Here was a whole bag of like little kid Easter things. I couldn't tell if they were old or modern. They were in nice shape. I thought about picking them up. Let's see, this is a doll, uh, 505 for all of those. I kind of went back and forth. And then I just ultimately said no because it's not really something that I sell in my shop. It is cute. And you might think, oh, I wish you had gotten that. But I just was picky. I tend to be picky. I've been accused of being cheap. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being cheap if you're the right kind of cheap. Here's a Starbucks mug for $1.91. Seeing if they have any hidden treasures in the mugs. Those were pretty. They were all taped together. They were um, a brand I didn't know. I thought those were nice. And then these reminded me of restaurant wear, but they weren't marked on the bottom. The brand wasn't marked on the bottom. And just giving you a look at the rest of the mugs. The Roy and Bach. I, I probably would have picked that up if it came with the sugar bowl. Let's see what else. Oh, that was really cute. And that was a Barnes and Noble. It reminded me of a, like an Italian look to it. So if you needed mugs or anything for your kitchen, you could come here and easily pick up some nice pieces. $2.12 for that big gravy boat. The background noise you hear are cars driving past my house, if you're wondering. I'm not by the ocean. These I almost picked up. I did look up comps. And the ones that sell as a group of four sell well. So I did leave those there. I hadn't seen those before. Made by Oneida. Usually you think of silverware. At least I do when I see the brand Oneida. Let's see, what else do I find? Oh, at that penguin. I thought maybe it was a D, C, a D, U, K, C. There's that duck that Jocelyn's picked up that has the name duck spelled wrong. I thought maybe that was it, but it wasn't. There's a little holder for your thread and their Christmas section. All sorts of things that you may not know you need for the holidays. A little Thanksgiving and Halloween thrown in together. And then we looked at the movies to see if there was any movies that Jenny needed. And that was our trip to this Goodwill. Okay, we found two things at that Goodwill and this ends our road trip to Arkansas. Next, uh, let's see, next cup. I am not corny, you're corny. I said you're still a I, no, I'm not. I stopped recording. All right, I picked up two things in that store, the two velvet paintings. Uh, that ends our trips to... Uh, I did end up picking up two black velvet paintings of the flowers in the frames. Uh, that was pretty much all that I found for us. Uh, I think that... Oh, I can't. I ended up taking those... Not taking, I... I paid for them. Uh, the two velvet paintings. 
that is going to wind up, round up our trip to I'm not doing this again. How many times have I done that? I don't know. Four, four. three. Four, maybe five. Four, three, or it five. It will not be six. Uh, that rounds up our road trip to Arkansas. We are going to my cousin's wedding tomorrow and then we're going to head home to Pennsylvania. So I hope you enjoyed this road trip. And um, if you were wondering in July, I'm looking at the temperature on my car, wondering, um, July, Arkansas, I wonder if it's hot. Jenny, is it hot in Arkansas in July? Yes. <laughs> it's 95 degrees and I think 301% humidity. Uh, that, might, that might be off a little bit, but it is hot, yes. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. My cousin got married in Little Rock, and then the reception was in a tiny little town called Leslie, which is about an hour and a half north of Little Rock. So I'm showing you the town. Jenny and I got up early. It was a small town. Easily walk around and see. They must have flamingos there. I didn't know it was Arkansas had flamingos, but... <laughs> kidding they had a little antique stores but we were there early so some of the stores weren't open I did find some that were open uh, two antique places and I'm going to give you a little tour of those but first I wanted to show you the, the flowers and there's some butterflies flipping around in the back there and this was the Leslie City Park very sweet little town here is one of the, uh, this was one of the stores and they weren't open yet, but they had, this was a display on the outside. So I was looking to see if I could find any treasures. Some things were priced and some weren't. And then we went back later to see if they had opened up yet and they hadn't and we needed to hit the road. So I thought, well, at least we got to see some pretty things, some nice vintage items. I thought those were pretty. So this was just a shelf unit that's just there um, all the time. It was nice to be in a little town that you you know don't have to worry about who's creeping up on you and everyone probably knows everyone. It's a small population, but I'll show you later. They have a wonderful cafe that we all had breakfast at. This is a hobbyist piece. All of my relatives, we all had um, brunch the day after the wedding. So it was really nice to reconnect and have some good food and enjoy just small town life for a little bit. And here's a little backup picture of view of the display on that one store. Then we walked around and we found another store and this gentleman was very nice and gave us some background history of Leslie that it was at one time considered to be the capital to think, you know, let's make it the capital of Arkansas. And it was known for making barrels not just for transporting alcohol, but turn of the century, you know, transporting items. And uh, a train was here, and the population was over 20,000. And then the barrel company left town, and then the town got very small. It reminds me of a town in Kansas that I used to visit that my great aunt, <clears throat> excuse me, lived at. And uh, just had a real, you know, everyone looks out for each other. Just a real, real nice place to visit. So he had a big variety of different things. This really cool ship. And this doll reminded me of Michael from the Cult of Vintage. I thought he would either hate that or really like it. Or maybe Misty would love that. So, Or maybe you would like it. Then I asked Jenny, do I get points for this? And she said no because they're attached to the person. We did not find one pair of cut off praying hands our whole trip. To Arkansas so we'll have to come back so we can look again here are some little figurines and some salt and peppers and here's another area of the store jammed packing fun to look at because you never know what you'll find and then I see a swan over there so I reach carefully for it to look at it to see if I wanted to bring it home. It was nice, but I, I left it there. So that was nice, but very noticeable chip right there, but it was cute because I had a bird. I like the look of that. And then you could walk, oh, this was in at another store. 
And this man was very nice. He was originally from Texas. And this store, you could tell it used to be made probably a general goods store the way that it was kind of set up and it sloped towards the back and then you could go upstairs. There are some wall pockets there. Then there was a whole display of Francoma pottery. And I don't know about Francoma pottery and I didn't have any Wi-Fi so I couldn't cheat and look up sold comps. So I just decided, well, I'll just enjoy looking at all the different varieties of the pottery that's here. Very nicely displayed. Both stores were nice. If we had had more time, we needed to get back on the road to come home back to Pennsylvania. I probably would have stuck around to see the other stores and see what they had because I peeked in the windows and it looked like it would be worth the trip to come up. Thought those mugs were neat. They were eight eight fifty each, the Aztec design. And here's some just more critters and planters in the same store. Just giving you a, a look see. All the chickens grouped together. And then I think this next clip is when we went upstairs. Yes, this was upstairs. There's some Ellie Smith blue glass up there on the upper right-hand shelf, but it had a chip on the base, or I would have bought that. And then there's a whole bunch of these bedpans, but I didn't want to end the video on bedpans. So there was this comic that I thought you thought would think it was funny. Here is my breakfast plate from the Crooked Gate Cafe, and there is also a bakery I highly recommend. Arkansas was full of friendly and helpful and kind people. I, we had the best time reconnecting with family and just enjoying the state of Arkansas. We will definitely be back. I hope you enjoyed this trip with me to Arkansas. Thank you so much for watching.